Hi guys, hi loved ones, hi 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 hi. How are you doing, yo? How is everything? How is you? How is your family? How is your kings? How are your relatives, friends, and family? Hope you're doing doing well. Yeah, this morning is a morning blessed of the Lord, and so are you, and so am I. So. I take this opportunity to thank you for your love, for your care, for always coming through to watch Medzatit. I thank you for giving me a chance to produce some content for you and watching and coming back to watch it and every time. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Quickest means of transport we have in my country. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch, for always subscribing. Thank you so much for always finding time to come back and watch my videos. Thank you for being a blessing that you have. The last time in the Panda Pama Matatu I spent almost two hours going that time. Leo, expensive, expensive, okay. Last time. They live under my tattoo up on a 50 book. What? They figure down two years later. I'd rather pay 100 and get to town quick, quick. Near town, near town, near town. Near town, near town, near I need us to discuss something. I've seen running on the internet and there was a bit on. Can you say petrified? Can you say uh, I wonder? But I said, of course, I'll bring it to my people like I usually do. So there came this one uh, famous American YouTuber called Mr. Beast. I don't know why he chose that name. He turned to him so killing. First of all, he said when he was 13, he never knew that whatever is achieved as of now, at 25 years, you would have achieved it. You know, I know Mr. Beast. I know Mr. Beast because one of my nieces uh, normally watches that particular channel so much, so I got interested. Who is this guy that you keep on watching in day out? I was so interested. To know who is this Mr. Beast? Who is Mr. Beast? And so when I heard he was in the country, I got a little bit interested to try and dig more. And I realized this 25 a young man, the secret to his success 
is not only making the most expensive videos and the most unique videos, no. One of the most, um, you know, striking thing about this guy is um, the fact that he knows the secret of giving. You know, giving, like I always say, is not for everybody. Giving is for the few, few people who know the secret behind it. Not everybody gives and there will never be everyone giving. Giving is not for everybody, not in church, not for charity, not for, you know, for instance, if you're having a fundraiser, it's not everybody who will give because giving is not for everybody. So I keep looking at the bio of this 25-year-old young man and I was so, so alarmed by the kind of giving, let me call them giving, he has given. Someone can construct a whole factory and give it out. Someone can buy a whole jet and give it out at 25 years. And then you think this particular person is gonna go broke? That will never happen. Forget about it. So I, I, I was just looking and looking and you know until I got interested to go back and watch his videos and realize the guy has traveled so much. There's a time he was giving hearing aids to some um, people who could not hear and problem with hearing and I thought to myself, I was asking myself, so why are people hating on such a person who comes into Africa where we have, we practically have um, politicians, we have people who can do one, two, three. The guy comes into Africa and digs almost a hundred boroughs across the continent and people have everything to say about this guy. So, I sat and decided to do a bit of research about this young man called Mr. Beast. And here is what I found out. Keep watching and keep subscribing. And if you're coming in for the first time, can you join in and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, as I always say, I love you so much. Philanthropy is not for everybody. It's not for the faint addict. Removing that money that you've made with your sweat and giving it out to someone who is not, you know, is not your relative, you don't know them, calls for a lot of humility. It calls for a lot of blessings from God. So I'm going to be, you know, checking out what Mr. Beast has achieved over the years. And I'm going to be sharing with you so that you can understand people hate what they don't know. And believe you me, if your hand is like this, God does not get, a, get anywhere to put addition. But if your hand is stretched like this, what happens is God has somewhere to give back because your hands are stretched. So come, come, keep watching and I'll let you know what Mr. Beast has achieved. I mean, I'm a tattoo heading to Rapper Hill and hopefully I'll get back with you soon. God bless. I totally don't get it. I heard this famous Kenyan musician Bob Kerr give the don't trash Mr. Beast at he, and another very senior official trash Mr. Beast and say that who told him we have problem in Africa? Who told him he should have helped his fellow YouTubers not to paint us as wanting, not to paint us as broke? Yeah, we are broke. <laughs> Yeah, we are broke. Yeah, you see now what is happening right now. We can't tap even floods. Huh? Those people that Mr. Beast helped to have clean water. You saw the kind of water these people have been drinking. Hmm? They have been drinking crazy water. Huh? Your children who go to school. Now, you, you are in Nairobi. You are doing well. You have a good house. You have a good job. You have a good house, you have a good job, you're driving big machines. There are people out here who don't even have water to drink. Someone sinks more than 50 boreholes to help people. 
and people are here complaining oh oh, hi, oh. <laughs> hey kenyans nairobi club come on at chazanga golf my friend what is wrong with you huh sun where is the sun what is exactly wrong what is the wrong with you Ugandans would ask you're complaining of someone who has come into the country and helped save the life of our young ones by you know having wells sunk yeah and getting water in minutes a <laughs> millions and millions of money sunk into the ground which politicians would have done yeah but they have not done it but someone comes in here within a very short period helps our people have clean water and guys are all over but mouthing the 25 year old Jesus are you sick I don't get it I've been thinking about it and I can't get it how you can be upset even let me stand here for a bit how you can be upset because mr. mr. beast philanthropy read him to the continent of Africa he's been giving stuff all over is all over and all over he comes to Africa sinks war holes because we don't have clean water in some places and instead of applauding such a person we are here complaining oh Mr. Beast this Mr. Beast that Mr. Beast the other one hmm? 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 you know get it out people can just be that funny instead of thanking God for such a person and saying thank you for coming to help our children and our great great grandchildren hmm? we are here making noise ho 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 hey guys just like I was telling you when I was talking about the Mr. Beast issue actually if I was going to tell you the kind of philanthropy Mr. Beast has done I'll be talking of quite a lot of things. I just labeled just a few of them so that you see. You see, I don't understand the fight, the cut fights between these celebrities on why Mr. Beast did wrong. How can someone do wrong by assisting you need struggling Kenyans to have fresh and clean water? I don't get it. I've been trying to get it a while, I cannot get it. Every time you open the internet, there's a complete home you came to. You know, to to he thinks we are poor, he thinks we are one. Hmm? So it's of importance to know that among this, the richest YouTubers and celebrities in the world, it's Mr. Beast who saw it fit to come to Africa to build wealth. Not because he could not have gone to build wells anywhere. And Makio, or for your information, it's not only Africa that he does charity. I recorded just a bit of what he does and I decided I'm going to share so that those people who are fighting actually again the diaspora and you're watching this actually my niece was telling me that I should get a chocolates from Mr. Beast's factory I don't know where to get those ones if you can hook me up with them so I was looking at the philanthropy of what Mr. Beast has done and I realized he's done quite an awesome job at his age none has done that or maybe those that have done and they're silent, we are yet to know. Just like I was telling all of you, I'm going to read for you what I was saying. I can't, of course, master all these things with my head, but to top it all, is digging 52 or more boreholes in Kenya alone. Guys, are we for real? Check your background, it's nice. I wait for real. Mtumoni ametujengea bwaholizo more people to nam tusi. Every day unaamka Mr Beast, Mr Beast. Hmm? He connected a bridge that the government could not have done for quite a long time. Yeah? Or say that the local politicians would not have done for quite a long time. Maka connect bridge watoto wa kwa wanapita. Huyo mtu ndiye people wake up to insult on a daily basis. Me I don't get it. Hmm? He has built houses for the homeless. Hmm? He has powered a remote island. Of course, when you see a remote island being powered, of course, it's not for the rich. 20,000 pairs of shoes to children in Africa, this continent of ours. 
he has helped 2,000 amputees to walk, built 100 wells now plus the 52 we have in Africa, Zimbabwe, Cameroon, guys, helped 1,000 blind people to see first time, rebuilt homes for tornado survivors, 3 million aids to Ukraine refugees. Just the other day, Ukraine was bombed left, right, right and center by Russia. It came in handy. Guys, built a bridge to help a community, the one that I taught in Kenya. He made the deaf smile by, you know, getting them implants and hearing aids. Guys, we keep on insulting. That's a God that is for us. You know, God only blesses those people who give. Why lie? So I listen to people trashing Mr. Beast on a daily basis. Same thing like when you have YouTubers all over the world. People trash I am Marwa, people trash I am Marwa, they say stop, stop, stop. But this I am Marwa, I assure you, is the only YouTuber in Africa who has nurtured very many YouTubers. Take it or leave it. Just say that I'm blabbing, but I'm telling you the truth. He could not have been into Mr. Beast's kind of philanthropy, but his own personal philanthropy of helping YouTubers come up from zero to somewhere and now they are developing without attack same at our charge a thousand dollars it doesn't end up doing that what am i trying to say let's be proud of people who help people instead of crushing them now people are crushing mr beast oh he thinks we are poor oh he thinks this he thinks the other but this guy so he doesn't need anyone to recognize him no he's doing it for charity hmm? it's going down his records he has done philanthropy work Guys, and us here, we complain. Ho, 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 ho. You must have a heart of giving to do what people like Marwa do also. Because very few YouTubers will want to associate with you when you are at a zero subscriber. Same way, the YouTubers can blippy. A lot of rich YouTubers who are out here, but how many have come and built 100 wells in Africa? How many have bought 20,000 shoes? How many? How many? So instead of trashing sh such a person, we should thank God for him. Everyone wakes up and says, Mr. Beast. Everyone wakes up and says, Mr. Beast. Hey, guys. Hey, I don't get it. I don't get it. So what was he supposed to do? He was supposed to come and consult you. Hmm? You, you, you Kenyans. That he can build boreholes for people. Is that what he was supposed to do? He was supposed to report to you that I'm building boreholes and I don't think that you're going where well, well. we should be glad and rejoice and thank God for him. At his age he's doing quite a lot that billionaires don't do. How many people in this country can sink boreholes for people and they haven't? Fifty two plus and counting. And you're insulting this guy. You must repent. Hmm? Beast, live long. I don't know why you are called Beast. It's not a good name, but you're doing well for yourself and for God and for God's children. Guys, keep subscribing to Metatech. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. And if you're in the diaspora and you can get those chocolates from Mr. Beast Factory, hook me up. My niece really needs them. Okay?